We've gone too far. I am reading these books and uh, I am a little scared. Macbeth and Macbeth, please kill me. I decided to wear the shirt that Alan keeps stealing from me. Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today with my July TBR. I don't have a big stack with me because I don't have all of the books yet that I am reading. <laughs> In July, I'm filming this a little bit early and a couple of the books uh, are slated to arrive like in the first week of July So I won't even have them on July 1st. So I figured whatever. So I don't have them all I can't be arsed to go get all the ones that I do have. We'll just do the virtual version because I'm lazy First and foremost the big news and the reason that I'm wearing this shirt that is in no way remarkable Unless you know my nemesis is choosing part of my TBR this month. That is right Alan from the library of Alexandria will be choosing, well I say will be, has already chosen, <laughs> has assigned four books to me, and I have likewise counterattacked with four books of my choosing for him to read. And we will be discussing said books on each other's channels come the end of the month. That being the case, I decided to wear the shirt that Alan keeps stealing from me. The four books that Alan has chosen for me to read are as follows. Guards Guards by Terry Franchett, Sandlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft, Shadow in Summer by Daniel Abraham, and Guns of the Dawn by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I am actually looking forward to all of these. So well done, Alan. You've chosen books that I'm excited for. And if you weren't such a contrarian, you'd be excited for the books that I picked for you too, because I picked books that I think you'd like. Yeah, so you'll see what uh, we end up feeling about this in at the end of the month. But I also have uh, 11 more books on my TBR in July. Please kill me. <laughs> all of them are in some way or other required reading, so. Number five on my TBR is Sharp Ends. Fortunately, this is the shortest in the world of First Law. Uh, so I obviously couldn't have planned it this way, but thank God in my First Law reread for the year, the short one is in July. So thank you for that. <laughs> Sharp Ends is the collection of short stories um, that spans the entire like timeline of the First Law. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I'm excited to reread it. So that'll be short and sweet. Next on my TBR is Year One by Nora Roberts. This is the Blades and Bodice Rippers book club pick. It is Mara's pick, so the live show for it will be on Mara's channel come the end of the month. End of the month is already looking quite busy, is it not? <laughs> but wait, there's another buddy read, and that is The Howling Dark by Christopher Rocchio. This is the second book in the Sun Eater series. Um, he, Alex and I, did I say who I buddy, I'm buddy reading this with? Did I? I don't know. Me and Alex and Eva, so we read Empire of Silence in June and their live show discussion of that book was on my channel. So in July, when we read The Howling Dark, the discussion for it will be on Alex's channel. So read these books and join us, please, because they are so freaking good. Uh, you will not regret it. Please, please join us in reading them and then in chatting with us about them. Uh, next is another buddy read, and that is A Ship of Magic, which I'm reading with Mara. From books like Well, um, she and I buddy read the Farseer trilogy and are now embarking on our life ship trader's journey. I said this and I think she agreed that a, a ship based, uh, a seafaring adventure seemed like a good summer read or summer seemed like a good time for such a read. And I understand the life ship traders by the name of the series and the names of the books are on the water in ships. Uh, I've also heard that uh, a lot of people think that the life ship traders is the best of the series within the realm of the elderlings. And I already loved Farseer, so I am stoked. I've heard there's a lot of women characters. Like, I, there's already, like, lots of great women characters in, in the Farseer trilogy. But it was Fitz's story. In Live Ship Traders, I'm given to understand is multiple perspectives, a lot of them being female perspectives. So yay for that. I'm really excited. <laughs> Next is another buddy read, and that is The Gunslinger by Stephen King, which I'll be reading with Bethany. I've been wanting to read The Dark Tower. It is, in fact, one of the series on my list of series to start in 2021, and I recently um, made Bethany read her first Stephen King uh, when we chose each other's TBRs. I picked The Eyes of the Dragon for her, and um, then I was chatting with her about it and about how uh, the villain in Eyes of the Dragon, because, you know, it's the Stephen King multiverse or whatever. That, or, or universe, not multiverse? Well, I don't know. You know what I mean. Stephen King books all take place in the same universe. The villain in Eyes of the Dragon is also the villain from the Dark Tower series. And when I mentioned that, we started talking and, and she's also interested in not picking up the Dark Tower series. So she and I are going to give the gunslinger a shot. And then if we like it, we may continue on and read the rest of the Dark Tower. Next, I have Macbeth and Macbeth. Me and my friend Heather, uh, we read The Tempest and Hagseed in June, which are the play by William Shakespeare and the Hogarth Shakespeare retelling of said play. So the retelling of Macbeth is actually called Macbeth. I'm really excited about this. Macbeth is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays. It is such a classic and 
I believe the retelling of it is sort of a crime thriller tank on Macbeth, which is a very fitting and appropriate way direction to go with Macbeth because that's basically what Macbeth is. So I'm very curious um, to see how it's retold and I'm excited to revisit Macbeth because it is a really great play and I haven't taken a look at it in a little while. So excited to nerd out about Shakespeare and chat about it with my friend Heather and with you all. Please join us in doing that. And I don't know yet when our live chat for that will be, but it will be <laughs> at some point in July. And then we have The Wolf by Leo Carew, which is my fifth time reading it. And the reason for this is because all of my yammering about this book <laughs> resulted in it being chosen as the July read for the Shelf Space book club. And I will be the guest host for the Shelf Space buddy read I, of it in, in July. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to read this. So like, if there's anything that can, can that can go from this list, it's that because I've read it four times already. <laughs> I love it. So it is in no way a hardship to reread it. So I fully intend to reread it. And I can't wait to talk about it with everybody. So please, if you have heard me talk about the wolf for however long I've been talking about the wolf and you haven't yet read it, read it and then come chat with us when shelf space gathers to discuss please uh next up i have trigger warning by neil gaiman and this is the patron buddy read that we have the patrons have chosen slash voted on so i'm very excited about this i love neil gaiman and i haven't this is one of the few neil gaiman books that i haven't yet read it's a collection of short stories and i'm pumped to get some gaiman in my system i have been without gaiman for too long next up i have i am legend by by Richard Mathis Matheson. Richard Matheson. Um, this is chosen for me by patrons to read. So I have added a new feature perk thing for my patrons um, where they get to choose a book, not to buddy read, but for me to read and review. So the patron pick for me to read and review is I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. And uh, I am a little scared about reading this because I, I think I know what it's about. I haven't seen the film with uh, Will Smith or I think there's an older film. I haven't seen any film. I have never read it. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm a little bit scared because I think I know what it's about. <laughs> and last but not least, and one of the things I actually most, I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to everything on this TBR. Everything on this TBR, yeah, like this is a solid TBR. This is a really good TBR, which is why I'm like, it's a lot of books, but like, I think it'll be a good month. But anyway, the last book on my TBR is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Michaelides? Michaelides? That that guy. I am given to understand is Dark Academia. The cover is very reminiscent of the secret history. I'm a big fan of the secret history. I've heard really good things about The Silent Patient, which was um, this author's first book. And I've heard really excellent things from everybody that I got an early copy of The Maidens. So I am really stoked to read this. As I just said though, I am stoked to read everything on my TBR, including the stuff Alan picked for me. This is a really, really solid TBR. I am like anxious. <laughs> about the number of books on this DVR, but I am stoked. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below what you're going to be reading in July, if you're reading any of the books that I'm reading, if you want to encourage or discourage me about any of the books that I will be reading. I mean, we've gone too far. I am reading these books. You cannot talk me out of them. This is happening. But you can warn me, I suppose, to not expect too much. <laughs> but whatever you want to let me know, I post videos on Saturdays at the random times as well, but definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Thank you.